Well, there are new concerns in the medical marijuana industry here in Oklahoma after lab tests found pre-rolled joints contained high amounts of mold and yeast. News Force Tanner De Leon breaks down the lab results along with concerns surrounding them. Tanner. Harvard Industries took a closer look at microbial testing after they say OMMA changed its regulations on testing product in its final form in recent years. They say the results show certain products shouldn't be on the shelves. One passed and all the other 14 failed. Three dispensaries, five pre-rolls from each, 14 of them failing with high levels of mold and yeast. In our experience in the past, that was like the most common failure that we would see in pre-rolls, uh, like an overwhelming majority of them would fail for mold and yeast. Which could pose a health risk to those smoking contaminated pre-rolls. Infection with mold can be very detrimental to lung health um, and can cause chronic lung problems that sometimes may not be discoverable um, easily or quickly. The limit for yeast and mold microbials is 10,000 colony forming units or CFUs. The pre-rolls Haver tested well exceeded that. I think we were averaging at around at least 20% over the upper limit, um, but of course they all vary from sample to sample. Havard says OMMA regulations changed the last couple of years, doing microbial testing on the flower still, but not on the final form of the product like a pre-roll. We would really like uh, the agencies to uh, like kind of reevaluate uh, microbial testing um, on pre-rolls in general, or uh, if they can rechange uh, this whole idea on final form testing to not just be for like uh, concentrates and things, but also include things like uh, pre-rolls or any uh, any finished product like that would really solve a lot of this. We reached out to OMMA who responded in part saying, quote, all medical marijuana products are required to undergo microbial testing in their final form, adding OMMA may take administrative action against licensees who violate OMMA's regulations. Havard says dispensaries are supposed to keep certificates that show the lab results of every product they sell. If you're interested in learning what to look out for, head to the web version of this story on KFOR.com.